Well, thanks so much for spending a part of your Monday morning here with us for Virginia This Morning. I'm Jessica Nall. This past holiday weekend, you probably had your share of beef burgers. Well, today, Bachelor Kitchen chef Chris Hill shares a tasty Mediterranean variation using lamb. He recently walked Cheryl through the steps. Take a look. Welcome back to our show. When you think burger, you may think beef or maybe even turkey, but today we're going to add lamb to the mix with a Moroccan dry rub. Bachelor Kitchen's Chris Hill is here with his twist on an American classic. Hi, Chris. Hey there. How's it going? You're going to take us to the Mediterranean I with sure our am. burgers today. Yeah, you I have like some great that. flavors out there. They smell great. Yeah, I figured I'd get some started. So that way, by the end of the uh, segment, we'd have something to snack on, right? Sounds good. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, flip these over. Now that's a burger. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, nice. They're probably you know, six to eight ounces. And I do about like four minutes aside. You can always go in the oven to finish it off, or if you're on the grill, the same idea. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't want to get it too crispy um, to where it's going to burn on the outside. Right. Okay. So we're talking about Mediterranean flavors. I think I see some pine nuts in there. You sure do. You. Um, so what I've done already, which I actually have in this bowl here, is I've taken. I have a Moroccan dry rub, mm -hmm. um, which actually is on my website. Um, there's a bunch of different stuff on there. So I'm not going to rattle everything off. But, Lots of different spices. But, but a bunch of uh, curry, coriander, some turmeric, salt, pepper. Um, added that to this mixture of some uh, minced shallots, mm -hmm. some roasted red peppers, some garlic, some uh, lemon zest. So it's going to have some really bright flavors to it. Some pine nuts, which um, chopped up, and then some goat cheese. After you saute all the vegetables and add the seasonings, Add the goat cheese, mix it in, it's going to kind of melt, kind of like it's done here. Oh, like a Mediterranean cheeseburger. Exactly. <laughs> and then at that point, um, you'll want to cool it off so you, you obviously don't want to start cooking your, uh, your lamb, right? Right. So, now, can we buy ground lamb in the store? You, sh you should be able to. Okay. Um, you know, earlier this, this morning, I got this at the Harris Theater. Mm -hmm. So, I'm um, move this out of the way so yeah. that they can see the burgers cooking. That's going to be for our sangria later on. Oh, yeah. I'll which, just put um, that right over here by me. We actually have a lot of the same flavors. Oh, and I forgot to mention uh, some mint as well. So, and, and that's very Middle Eastern, too. Isn't it, it absolutely is. Mm -hmm. So, I try to kind of work with those flavors and really have a, a nice contrast and, and bright, but also kind of deep and also a little bit of sweetness with some sugar. Mm -hmm. So, we're just going to kind of mix all this together. And I will uh, go ahead, I think I have one more glove down here, and go ahead and um, patty a couple more of these up. Do you want to maybe turn that up a little bit for us? Oh, sure. Let's see how we do here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, in that pan, I just have some English muffins. I grew up, my dad swears by English muffins with burgers, so I can't kind of really stray away. No, and that's, that makes it substantial, which is nice. It does, and you have those little airy pockets, so um, if there's any like, your residual grease or anything, it, can it just it. goes in the pocket. Exactly. And there. You're not going to lose any of the goodness. <laughs> now, it, of course, it, this is grilling season. Could we do these on the grill? Absolutely. I mean, there's no reason why you can't. Um, you know, have, especially with the sangria, it's like, like a match made in heaven, right? Absolutely. Nice that's dinner waiting to go. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to smooth these over a little bit and go ahead and sear these off. And again, if you're doing the pan, about four or five minutes aside for like a medium. Mm -hmm. um, and you can keep, go a little bit longer. You can finish it in the oven. It's one of my favorite things to do. It keeps things nice and moist. Yeah. So do, will lamb get tough if you overcook it? It will. It will. Um, the fact that it's ground makes it a little bit better. It mm -hmm. it's, it's doesn't have all those, those um, intermuscular uh, tissues that are still together. Right. So the fact that it's ground helps out a little bit. But um, uh, medium rare to medium is perfect, I think, for lamb. Yeah. I'll All right. So um, that's do. just going to keep doing its thing. What I've done here is I'm just going to start with a little bit of mixed greens in the, in the bun. Mm -hmm. And then I marinate overnight some tomatoes with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of lime juice and some mint. Oh, great. Well, I'm gonna let, we're going to let those burgers cook, and you're going to mix up a little drink for us. You yes, want to switch places? Sure, let's do it. Just, okay. as, as opposed to me moving everything right. over here. So I'll also have some ice. Um, that's, let's see, on the far left there is some sugar. Right here? Yeah, maybe pour that whole thing into here. I'm going to make sure it's sugar. I think it is. Yeah, that's the sugar. <laughs> I can see the grains in the kosher salt. All right, so some granulated sugar, some uh, pomegranate juice. And that's well, gotten really popular lately. It really has, and it's great for you. One of those antioxidants. Some uh, red wine, um, like a medium body, like a Pinot Noir would be perfect with mm -hmm. like this whole idea. So you're using a Merlot, which is good. Yeah, Merlot would be great. Some orange juice. While I'm doing this, would you mind maybe slicing up that orange and, and lime? Oh, sure. Which way you want it sliced? Um, just in the quarters, maybe. Oh, okay. Just so we can kind of get some of those flavors. And ideally, you want to let it sit overnight. All those flavors are going to really get absorbed, and it's going to be really nice and delicious. And you always finish the ingredient off with some sort of 
Effervescence. I have some Sprite uh, lemon lime soda here. Also, you can use club soda too. Very nice. So we'll take yeah, those limes, the lemons. Yeah, we'll just kind of squeeze them right in here, get all those juices out. Yeah, we're getting kind of full here. <laughs> and then go ahead and I'm going to add these pomegranate seeds right on top. Wonderful. So maybe what I'll do is, these aren't quite ready. We won't do it. We've got one plated up here that okay, we can put yeah. right up front there so people can see the finished product. So then what I did is also I used those tomatoes, like I said, mm -hmm. and then finished off a little bit of goat cheese, which is also kind of embedded throughout, and some uh, roasted red peppers and some uh, mint shallots. That looks fabulous. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Chris Hill, thank you so much. The Bachelor Chef. Thank and you. you can find this recipe and many others we featured here on Virginia This Morning on our website at wtvr.com slash vtm.